When the mom from the Cosby Show takes her own life after being swindled out of millions of dollars by a phone scammer, vigilante hero Jason Statham takes matters into his own hands. And boy do those hands have some sting to them. Because Jason Statham's a beekeeper in this new R-rated action flick, The Beekeeper. And I can confidently say this will be one of the dumbest movies I watch all year. And it's only January! Let's talk about it. Jason Statham plays Adam Clay, but he's really just Jason Statham. And I should point out, my name is also Adam. So if you like the name Adam, please subscribe to the channel, Adam Does Movies, where I talk about movies all the time, every single week. And would love to have you stick around. Stick around like a bee. And boy howdy does this movie go all in on bees. I already mentioned this movie's the dumbest thing I'll probably see this year. I stand by that statement. That doesn't mean it can't be fun. Lots of dumb movies are fun. Hell, Jason Statham stars in a whole bunch of them that people like. So I think my job today is to just give you a little bit of a heads up on what to expect. A lot of action. Most of it's very cool. John Wick-esque style, hand-to-hand. -hand. He's constantly disassembling guns, tossing them. I'm not really sure why, because he does have no problem killing innocent people, or at least wounding them severely to the point where they probably will slowly bleed out in the hospital later. He's a man of very little sleep. In fact, it sounds like he doesn't sleep at all. The guy just, just eats and breathes justice 24-7. He's a very stock NPC-style character. Really no background to him. Really no personality at all. It's just Jason Statham grunting, saying one-liners, going from place to place, killing everyone or beating the shit out of them to the point where they probably want to die but don't get the sweet release of death. And that's it, wash, rinse, repeat for hour 45. Easy breezy cover girl. This movie's rated R for violence. There's some swearing, uh, of course. Josh Hutcherson's the villain. I didn't see that coming. I really only saw the one trailer and I guess it didn't register that he was in this. I liked his character. He's very over the top. A total douchebag bro scammer at the top of the food chain. His mom's very powerful figure. We get into that more in the later half where things go really off the rails loony. But really, it doesn't matter because nothing in the story makes any sense at all. It's another one of those films that tries to be like John Wick. It builds a secret underground society called the Beekeepers. And when the state fails to enact justice, these guys are here to keep things in check. Oh, we have someone at the top that's not doing the right job? Well, we could have a queen killer, a killer bee, who's going to rise up and take care of business. Take care of business, if you will. But Adam Clay is out of the game. Oh, much like John Wick. Secret underground society, retired, has to come back out for one last ride because his hand was forced. And here we are again. He was minding his own beeswax as a beekeeper for Felicia Rashad. And then she's killed because these bastards conned her out of millions of dollars. And with that stage set, the rest of it's really nothing more than Statham going around kicking the crap out of people. And for a lot of people, that's going to be plenty good. I was entertained enough. I kept thinking how dumb this movie is. I kept thinking <laughs> the acting's really bad. Not from Statham. Statham's actually really good at this. He's very good at keeping his cool, saying these terrible lines of dialogue. But there's an actress in here that plays the strong female lead cop who takes no nonsense. She's in over her head yet has no problem taking care of business. And I just, she was really cringy when she's popping on the shades, doing her little sassy looks. I hated everything she was in. And she had this rapport with her fellow officer, this banter that never landed a single time. The jokes all missed the mark. So there is a good 25% of this film that should just be fast forward if possible. Otherwise, you just go right to the action scenes. Really, everything that's not Statham kicking the crap out of people is pretty piss poor in this. It really does have a throwback 90s vibe to it. And I'm not talking good 90s like, uh, I don't even know if I'd say Time Cop. And Time Cop's pretty cool. I'm thinking more Jean-Claude Van Damme double impact or sudden death. The kind of C-list Jean-Claude Van Damme movies. 
Or maybe even the Seedless Crank 2 or Transporter 3. It's not Transporter 1 or 2 levels for me here. Those movies were fun and slick through and through. The Beekeeper has some really stupid parts that were beyond the pale. One of them, again, trying to mirror John Wick. In the first one, there's a female assassin that goes after him. She's crazy. She does things her own way. That happens here. But it's so just messily executed. The Beekeeper organization, according to this film, is really nothing more than one woman with a headset taking a couple calls from people. And at one point, Jason Statham's character, Adam, I should be able to remember that name, it's mine, he is on the list. He's a threat. And so she puts out a kill contract for this psycho woman, and she seriously responds, this is the target, and the contractor's like, ah ha ha, lol, this should be fun. And then she's shot out of a can and rolls up to a gas station. Woo! Wiki wow wow! Wiki wow wow west! And she pulls out the Gatlin gun. Somehow the gas station isn't blowing up until it's perfectly time for it to, which is Statham walking away in slow motion like he always does. This whole movie, Jason Statham just kind of slowly meanders around this place and pe people are like, where is he? Where is he at? And he's, he's just in the background like eating a sandwich and they can't shoot him or see him. There's one moment where he's running out in the lawn and the cop, the main cop runs out. She's like, where's he at? And he's seriously like right in front of them. He's like, oh, hey, hey guys. And then a person walks by and he's gone. It's that kind of dumb shit that's just littered throughout this film. But you can go into this with that knowledge at least. And to be fair, the movie's called The Beekeeper. About an organization of beekeepers. And he is even a beekeeper himself. Like... It's not taking it too seriously. I wish it almost would have been sillier though because some of it felt a little too, oh, we're cool and slick. It should have been more like a naked gun movie. <laughs> it's too serious for how stupid this is. Action-wise, like I said, it's great. Jason Statham still got it. He's kicking the shit out of guys. He's throwing punches. He's throwing people into cars. He's jumping out of buildings. It looks good. It's slick. Uh, music, pretty generic, pretty stock, nothing great there. Cinematography, pretty good across the board, nothing amazing. Budget felt cheap on this film, but not insultingly so. The acting is terrible. Outside of state, then the acting's pretty bad. Even freaking Jeremy Irons seems so completely checked out of this film. Anytime he's on, you can just see him counting the money going into his bank account. There's nothing more for him here to work with. And he's not putting anything into it. I wouldn't say run out and watch this. If it's free to stream on a service, sure. As long as you know you're kind of scraping the bottom of the barrel as far as the John Wick action style goes. I mean, I put Nobody above this. I put Atomic Blonde above this. I put a whole bunch of films above this one. But, you know, sometimes you can never have enough of it, right? I don't, I didn't mind it. I didn't like it. I didn't hate it. It's just there. It's the beekeeper. And this is going to fit right in nicely with the bee universe, which includes, of course, a bee movie, Aquila in the Bee, Honey, Honey Boy, Bumblebee, The Beekeeper's Wife, uh, anything really with bee in it, even if it has to do with literal bees or not. I'm putting it in the cinematic universe we have here. Okay, that's it. That's my review of the beekeeper. Let me know if you saw this. Let me know if it's stuck for you uh, or if you thought, no, this, this looks like a sticky treat I want nothing to do with. Be careful, though. Sometimes people can be rude in the comments. I know you're not one of them. I would love, though, if you could make like a bumble and, and buzz your ass up to the subscribe button. Throw a subscription my way. I appreciate it. I have fun here. I talk movies only. I do roasts. I do rants. I do live streams. It's all in the movie sphere. So join the Adam Does Movies Cinematic Universe. It's a good time. Please like the video. Please comment if you want. Share it. I'm on Spotify. There's podcast versions of these along with some other stuff. And I mean, really anywhere socially that you could find acceptable, you can find me. All right. Hopefully I'll see you next time. I'm going to make a beeline for the door. <laughs> Bees. Thank you